hi and welcome to the Biostock studio where today I am joined by Søren Regenholt, the CEO of Alligator Bioscience. Welcome Søren. Thank you. It's always a pleasure being here. Could you start by giving us an update on the Optimize 1 study with metasalimab in uh, metastatic pancreatic cancer? Yes, absolutely. As, as you rightly say, uh, Optimize 1, here we are testing metasalimab in uh, first-line pancreatic cancer in combination with the standard of care chemotherapy. And pancreatic cancer is a horrendous disease with a significant unmet medical need. Uh, we, we, uh, we assess this as a at peak sales, a, a commercial opportunity of uh, one to three billion US dollars annually. Um, Optimize One, we are recruiting on track and we are on track to, uh, to deliver uh, interim data by the end of, uh, of 2022. And that is of course a significant value driver for, for Alligator. And, and once we have these data, the company is definitely ready to both uh, accelerate and expand that trial uh, if the data uh, warrants so, yeah. And during the summer, you updated the markets about the second phase two study, Optimize 2, which was set to start by the beginning of, of next year. What does this update imply? First of all, it, uh, it means that we uh, are now uh, in a position to uh, focus all our resources uh, financially and, uh, and all our wonderful and dedicated staff towards Optimize 1, the key value driver for, for Alligator, and ensuring that that trial uh, delivers uh, as we have promised. Secondly, it of course gives us the opportunity to bring forward any learnings from Optimize 1 into uh, to Optimize 2. And, uh, and equally important, it, it decreases the burn rate of, uh, of the company, thereby extending our financial runway. And if we then turn to ATR 1017, the end of the phase one study is nearing. So what will happen next in this program? Yeah, so uh, 1017 is our 41BB monoclonal that is currently in a, uh, in a phase one clinical trial. <clears throat> All cohorts uh, have been recruited. Uh, luckily, there are still patients uh, on trial uh, benefiting from, uh, from the drug. Uh, and we have seen a disease control rate uh, of around 45%, which is really impressive uh, uh, for a single agent drug in this very, uh, what can we say, hard to treat patient uh, population. Uh, so we're very, uh, we're very hopeful. Once we have uh, read out the, the full data and had a chance to analyze it, we will update the market on, uh, on what happens next with uh, 1017. And of course, your other pipeline projects are also progressing. What news are you expecting from these in the coming months? Yeah, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's important as well. Our co-development project uh, 527, which is a bispecific antibody also for solid tumors, uh, we expect to uh, start first in human trials uh, during the second ha uh, half of, uh, of this year, uh, most likely Q4. Uh, our other preclinical projects, uh, including our collaboration with Finnish Orion, uh, are also progressing uh, as we expected and, uh, and planned. So all that is, uh, is, uh, is also uh, on track. And of course, upcoming results are creating a buzz around Alligator. How does this translate into your discussions about new deals and partnerships? Yeah, I mean, uh, the second half of this year, it's, it's so exciting. Uh, several trials will, uh, will read out. Uh, uh, we, will, we will have a lot of internal, internal data and, and yes, that has created a buzz uh, around uh, not only our, our pipeline assets, but also our technologies. And we are in, what can I say, advanced and structured discussions with uh, several potential partners around uh, uh, more uh, assets and, uh, and our technologies. So, uh, and I look forward to update the market during the second half of, uh, of this year. Well, we look forward to the update. Thank you so much for coming here, Søren. It's always a pleasure. Thank you.